it's always a challenge doing a new production of a very, very famous opera. And I think the very um, special place this opera holds in the Glyndebourne repertoire, it became a very exciting prospect. Well, the process starts sort of a year, over a year ago, when we first get kind of asked to come in and do the work. And we knew that we wanted to do, you know, we had a great time here doing Billy Bard and wanted to do something equally ambitious. And we are in 2012 coming with a new production for a new century of probably the greatest opera ever written. So I'm Tom Harrison, production manager, uh, and my responsibility is to take the shows, the designs of the scenery from the conceptual stage, uh, basically through until the first performance. So Christopher has uh, designed a set with a revolve, which revolves us into the different spaces in view of the audience. Um, what Christopher's designed is very architectural, based on Spanish Moorish architecture. Uh, so there's an awful lot of detail. So the great challenge is to deliver those architectural details um, in scenic terms. <laughs> This is like a sort of progress meeting, um, just to see where we're at, um, work out how much more work there is to be done. We've got a great advantage in, in this show in that Christopher's models are particularly detailed. Yeah. So this is absolutely the sort of benchmark that we work to, and um, all the information's there. Well, the model is vital as a communication tool for everyone here at Glyndebourne, everyone down at the builders as well, down at Bay. Um, and the better the model, the better people respond to it. At the start of the process, when we had the model and we did the test pieces, we broke down the model into different techniques and different processes. So we kind of simplified it in a way. So we've got the brick texture, we've got the tiles, plastering, fretwork. And to get all those kind of okayed from the start was great for us. And, and then we can just move on quite easily. Um. A particular uh, challenge has been this fretwork. It's Islamic artwork carved into the stone. And it's ex extremely intricate and complicated. Um, and it's finding a way to do that. This fretwork is all 3D and physical and real. So it was known that you know you can't do detailed Arabian architecture on a sort of you know on a small scale. It was it was gonna have to be something that was gonna be undertaken on a big scale. As we go around the workshop, there's, there's acres of the stuff. And what they've done upstairs in the drawing office is draw all of this on uh, CAD, um, and then it's um, CNC. So it's actually cut out using a, uh, a laser uh, or, a, or a router. And then there's a whole series of processes that James has been doing to it to, uh, to break it down. Yeah, we'll be using a mixture of um, acetone, which is a... Uh a solvent that we kind of flick on and it breaks down, eats away into the, um, into the surface. So it kind of ends up like this. So it kind of melts away into the surface and ages it down. And then a mixture of that and sanding it. And then, then it'll be painted and textured as well. Believe it or not, we're only a fortnight away from the fit up now. Um, so the steelwork is next door being fabricated and hopefully the majority of this will be fit, fitted together um, here uh, before it's loaded onto lorries to come down to Glyndebourne. So we're in the back dock um, at Glyndebourne and uh, we were able to put the majority of the scenery straight into the rehearsal room. So from day one, all of the artists were able to see the quality of work that had been done up at, up at Bay and really work with the space. I remember I was keeping touching walls and objects because it, it just seemed unreal. I just thought it was one of the best sets I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, the level of detail on it is fantastic and the attention to detail and the, the kind of the quality of the workmanship is unparalleled, it's absolutely beautiful. No denying that this is a big piece, but it works. We've got a great revolve that revolves everything into, into the space. Um, and working with Michael and Christopher, the process is very, very clear. 
everyone at Glyndebourne, many of them who know the piece very, very well, have been wonderful at embracing um, a new production with a new interpretation, uh, taking it to hopefully a very new audience.